hello everyone good day in today's video i will show you how can you generate new laravel project in laravel hub so let's get started first of all i will run my hard application so it's already running you can see here so uh, you can see uh, I have previously created a video regarding the first impression of Laravel Herb. So um, there is one major hiccup, uh, which one is uh, MySQL, uh, which is not available in free version. Uh, so uh, what I will do, I will uh, use my uh, database uh, MySQL from Laravel, uh, which is running in 3306 port. Okay. I will use this MySQL version uh, with uh, from her uh, and I will create new project from Laravel hard okay so first of all I will go to sites uh, if you go to sites you will create, uh, show you all the sites uh, you have created along with the PHP version you can change your PHP version here uh, after changing you have to restart Laravel hard to uh, affect that PHP version okay so what you have to do to create a new site in Laravel hard you have to click on this plus icon uh, so it will give you some suggestion by uh, you know starter kit or you can use Laravel breeze as starter kit with authentication or Laravel jet stream so let's see uh, what uh, what happens I will uh, uh, click on Laravel breeze here and I will click on next project name let's say mm. uh, Let's say its name is starter. Um, breeze stack is I uh, will use um, blade. There are the available versions for breeze stack, uh, blade liveware uh, uh, with Alpine and liveware uh, with Alpine, uh, with including Volt functional API, and you can also use React with inertia, view with inertia, and API only. Okay, I will click on blade here, and if you want to dark mode, you just click here. Uh, testing framework you can choose php unit or paste i will go, uh, go with paste and target location is showing you c users user and hard okay you can manually define it uh, so uh, let's create uh, click on next button so it's creating my project so you can um, see the progression uh, and what it is doing here what I will do, I will click on, uh, um, I will uh, create a uh, database in my PHP my admin, uh, of uh, from Laragon. Here is my MySQL install version, which is MySQL uh, version 5.7.24, which is running on port 3306. So I'm logging into my account. I'll click on uh, my new database from here. So, uh, as you know, by default, uh, um, Laravel, uh, Laravel Hard will use uh, um, what is that uh, SQLite actually. Okay, so I will show you how can you use MySQL with this one. So, um, test db hard changing the collection here. I will click, uh, click on create new so it's created so this is our database so uh, let's see what is uh, the status here it's almost finished it is installing the necessary packages allow me some time for this it is currently generating the optimized autoload files almost finished you can see there these are the pros uh, features services mail 
dumps etc for free version you can use php node express etc it's taking a little bit time I don't know why So there, this is a UI problem I think when you are doing full screen, it's showing a minimized window here. Currently uh, it's using PHP 8.3. Here uh, you can see here. Mm. Sorry, if you click on this uh, I or information icon, you can see uh, and the available logs. I still don't know what actually happening uh, it should not take this much time Let's see what uh, it uh, will do if I cancel this. So it's showing it, uh, it here. Let's try to open it in browser. So it, it's already installed by there, um, but there is no uh, such information of uh, completing the project. So you can see the PT URL is already uh, provided here. So another thing uh, is you can use Tinker here by simple by by simply uh, clicking this icon. So uh, our application is installed. Uh, now, now what I will do? I will go to my uh, installation directory, which is C users user, and from here. You can see if I see the location uh, probably where it is here. Hard. See, these are the projects uh, it's showing here. So this is my project. So I will uh, in, uh, open. Um, no, I will. I VS Code here. I don't need one this run card so I glow, uh, go to the env file and you can see the database connection is showing SQLite SQLite uh, so what I will do I will comment this one out and I will remove the comment from this connection string So uh, my password is 456 local password and uh, this is my db host db port you can define this one as I will uh, uh, use this mysql so I will click on save new now if I go to register so database file paths does not exist uh, ensure this is an absolute path to the database okay so Let's check if everything is okay. 
let's give it localhost let's see what happens now so it's still showing this error database file path uh, database file at path starter does not exist select oh, okay okay i think uh, let's let's uh, exit so it's still uh, showing problem here let's say so let's check from here uh, sorry i commented out the db connection actually it will be mysql mysql so i think it will be okay now okay now it's showing best table of view not found table starter dot session okay so uh, let's run migration something went wrong okay still showing problem let's check db connection is okay db host db port let's check the config file So default env db connection uh, will take it from the uh, env file. Session storage. So it's also nothing here. So what I will do? I'll check this again. DB database. Okay. So database name is this one. So base table of view not found, table test db heard session doesn't exist. So what, why this is searching for sessions table, I still don't know. So I have uh, migrated my tables. Let's check on now. So, uh, so now these are the tables created. Now hopefully this issue will be gone. Okay. So, so if I go to register, I register with some fake filler data. Register. 
so you can see my uh, application is installed and uh, up and running uh, if you if i go to the users you can see the new users created here so if you want to uh, um, uh, want to use laravel hard uh, in free version uh, and with mysql you can use largon and also uh, or other way is also you can manually install mysql and manually install my php my bin and uh, connect uh, to that okay so my problem was that uh, even before i migrated the tables uh, my mistake i migrated the table i was just checking the connection but uh, it was searching for the session table which was not, not available till then okay so that was the problem i was missing so hopefully you will understand that's all for today i will see you in next one bye